uh, it will probably be two. <laughs> okay, everybody. So I'm going to start off with, obviously, Operation Sea Lion, which is really Hitler's attempt uh, to take over uh, England. Now, this never actually took place. Um, certain operations, like the, the capture of Guernsey and capture of Jersey, did take place, however. Uh, but Operation Sea Lion itself, that is the invasion of Britain, never actually came to fruition. And thank goodness it didn't. Now, let's go ahead and jump in here, and we're going to play Operation Sea Lion, guys. Um, and I'm going to play it at Colonel. Uh, I've played Panzer Corps before, so I more or less know what I'm doing. It's one of my favorite games. We're going to keep Fog of War on. We're going to keep the supply, weather, etc. Everything is going to be in involved here. Uh, and we'll get started. So here we go. Take a seat here again. Ah, careful, class of Bordeaux wine. It came uh, well into my possession yesterday on duty, you say? Oh, well, we can drink this French delight after the briefing. I know, General. The barrels of your panzers are barely cold, and once again we call upon you to coordinate three simultaneous amphibious landings on the British Channel Islands. Time is of the essence as the three task forces must work independently and cannot come to the aid of one another. This operation should be simple thanks to intelligence provided by Hauptmann and Lieber Prietritz, our reconnaissance pilot. His mission revealed that British planes have vacated the area and that there is no significant military presence. High Command is aware that after the Battle of France, many of your panzers require repairs, and their crews deserve a break. Therefore, I am certain you will agree, fielding tanks for the duration of this mission is out of the question. Let's raise our glasses to the success of the operation, Herr General. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that attempt at a German accent. Great. So here we go, guys. We're going to go ahead and proceed with the battle. Um, and of course, it's going to be Axis Turn 1 of 12. These are the Channel Islands. Um, and I'm not particularly familiar with the Channel Islands. I do believe it's Guernsey, Jersey, and I can't remember the third one. Um, every division participating in the Battle of France suffered casualties. Now, this is actually quite interesting. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look. Okay. Um, so first things first, I'm going to start dropping paratroopers. <laughs> Almost immediately, I want these Fallschirmjäger divisions uh, out here. Another thing I want to do is try to damage any enemy ships that could actually hit our transport boats. We've got all these transport boats made for this invasion, um, and that's not something we can allow. So I'm actually going to bring this JU-87. Boom! Down with the Stuka. Uh, and we'll also bring in some of these units to affect the enemy transport ships. Although I'm actually going to use this fighter plane as a sort of reconnaissance plane right now. So I'm sending him behind enemy lines. Um, I don't want him to get too close to an AA gun like this one. Uh, that's why I didn't want to get right up there. Um, but we are also going to send in our Schnellboot. Uh, to open fire on the enemy boat. And I actually don't know much about the Schnellboot, so if somebody wants to give a little history lesson, feel free. Just destroyed the 12th destroyer, and that's really helpful. Uh, absolutely getting rid of him. And uh, now we want to just get our guys on land, basically. So I'm going to start moving these guys up to the coast. I want to move half of them over here to the right side, half to the left, and we want to make sure that they can definitely disembark on the next turn, uh, because this invasion has to happen quickly, my friends. Better not to risk them in the operation. I agree with you, party commissars. This is very true. In Schundiger, um, we'll go ahead and move up here. And once again, we are trying to get out here and uh, and just drop our guys anywhere on this island. Now, this is the largest of the islands. Uh, this is the one that definitely we really want to take control of. I want to get these Schnellboots up. I'm really happy we got that destroyer out of there, but I wouldn't mind destroying the enemy transport ships in this region. Hello, Araman. Welcome, my friend. Um, we will go down here, and unfortunately, we can't move these ships, uh, this this battle, I mean these ships, these tanks, they're totally useless. Um, you know, if we could use them, that would be great, but these islands really require a different type of control. And the first thing I'm going to do is start bombing their air bases. It doesn't look like we're going to get a very good hit, but even getting one hit on an air base like that is really helpful. And yes, we're using our fighter planes essentially as reconnaissance planes right now. Um, in fact, I'm glad that they found that beautiful artillery gun. I'm going to bring in the HE and start bombing. Hello, how you doing, uh, Commissar? I mean, uh, Tank of Doom. And uh, Hipsiber, uh, is that Hipsicratea? But she changed her name. No, it's Hybrid Spider. Hello, Hybrid Spider. Okay, guys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and continue the um, attack here. Now, I do believe, is this Jersey? Is this the Isle of Jersey? Uh, capital city is St. Peter Port. 
I'm not sure. I'm very, very bad with my Channel Island knowledge, and I'm sure uh, quite a few people are, especially if you're from the U.S. Um, let's go ahead and move forward. And okay, enemy destroyer. Now, this is something I don't like. Best thing I can do right now is bring in my bomber and try to damage him. I really don't want him doing any damage to my transport boats. Every single unit in this particular mission is important. Every single one of our units uh, has a degree of, of importance that we just can't replace. So I'm actually going to go ahead and bring this paratrooper out here. And next turn, we're going to drop him on this island. It's that simple. All right, we've got these transport ships out. We have anything over here? A very tiny island over here. Hello, 33rd Ulrich. Welcome. Um, let's continue with these. And once again, we had the mistake of finding one of these damn destroyers. I think the best thing we can do is go ahead and commence bombing. And actually, three hits is not bad at all. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this, and I will move him over to the enemy airfield like i said initially i want to get rid of these enemy airfields so three is a really good hit actually on an enemy airfield i'm surprised by that uh we might actually take this transport boat if we can get rid of that destroyer and i might move him up here to this island oh no these we forgot guys these areas are closed off so each of these units has to has to succeed in their own uh invasion of the island which is really cool so let's go ahead and end the turn here and see what the britishers will do Yes, this is the Channel Islands, El Commandant. You are correct. You are quite right. Um, so here we go. We're being attacked, and actually that looks like possibly a Bren carrier of some sort. Uh, definitely some heavy damage uh, on our paratroopers, and I don't like that one bit. We also, with our fighter planes being scouts in this particular battle, they are taking some pretty nasty hits, and that fortress battery just hit us really hard. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. And as you can see, I'm already launching my troops onto the beaches here. Uh, we want to get out into this area as quickly as possible. I hope the enemy doesn't have any armored uh, personnel carriers of any kind. I don't think they do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop some paratroopers here, and we're going to continue the bombardment of this airfield. Okay, let's see. Anything I can do with the fighters? I'm thinking right now I'm just going to... Remain cautious, as it were, with the fighters. I definitely want to get this enemy destroyer, so we'll open fire. Now, he's actually able to fire back, uh, and that doesn't make me very happy, but I'm going to try to just get on land as soon as possible. And, uh, yeah, no, sorry about that, guys. Uh, this is one of the unfortunate parts of living in New York, is uh, having to uh, hear other people's dogs outside. Uh, I hope that'll end soon. Um, sorry about that. Okay, we're going to move forward. And once again, I'm going to continue bombing the enemy artillery here. All right, so far everything looks okay. I mean, I'm saying okay because uh, this could go better in any number of ways. I want to make sure that we really get a good invasion force. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So this island looks really prepared. We just got an SDKVZ out on the island. That's going to be awesome. I don't know why we need an AA gun, but I'm, I'm assuming we'll need it eventually. So what I'm going to actually do with this Panzer Grenadier unit, or excuse me, this Fallschirmjäger unit, is I'm going to move here. I'm going to capture the city of St. Berlade, uh, and I'm going to try to bring in one of our Stukas uh, to hit this Bren carrier. And I think we could get him for a lot of damage. And there we go, five damage, guys. That's awesome. Uh, I would reinforce this infantry unit, but we can't this turn so we're going to open fire and look at that our our unit actually managed to destroy that bren carrier um and that is absolutely wonderful yeah some people have no respect at all for their uh for their animals and, and don't give a damn that they're barking um okay let's move up here definitely going to open fire on these transport ships if that's all our schnell boat can do i'll accept it and actually we already have that one down to one i'm not even sure what they're transporting but we just destroyed it we really want to take the capital of saint hilaire this is one of the important regions of the game of course uh, so let's do that move this up okay Once again, we're going for those airfields. I'm not sure the enemy has really anything of interest um, on these islands. 
Um, historically, they were not very well defended. So it's quite possible we can just walk up, waltz on in here and up uh, in the park with the waltz. Uh, we can vault on in here and just take over. I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. Now, one thing I really do want to do is hit this enemy artillery. I am worried about the enemy airfield, but that artillery could cause a lot of damage to this Gabus Jaeger troop. And this is an SE Gabus Jaeger. Of course, as you guys know, um, to be politically correct, they cannot put SS in the game, but that is an SS unit, essentially. Um, let's take a look over here. And we can also take a look at this landing zone which unfortunately we can't do much with this turn. We're going to have to wait till next turn until we can really start moving up the island. So let's end the turn. It's going to be the Allies' turn, of course. Uh, Holy Geeky, that's a good that's a good question. I really think it's it's um, so that the game can can appeal to mass markets. You know, uh, we we want to be able to retail the game in Germany, places like this, and and that's why we really can't put things like SS or or for instance swastikas in the game. Uh, this is totally against our policy, I would say. Um, so we stick to SC, which you know you guys can use your imagination a bit um, and and figure out kind of what that means. We're gonna move up forward here and start attacking the armored car. And I wouldn't attack them with a regular infantry unit, but this is actually an engineer unit. We also took some woodland cover here, so I felt a little more confident on the attack. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep hitting this armored car. I don't want this guy bothering our men uh, throughout the entire campaign. That's just unacceptable. Can we get an artillery hit on him? We should have done this before. There we go. And let's transport some more guys out here. And we're going to drop this guy over here. Uh, this is a good question, Mihiraus. Um, I'm not the, the original streamer. I'm actually a different streamer. So uh, we're, we're kind of redoing the stream for people that either didn't make it to the last one uh, or essentially people that just want to watch some more action. Okay, let's take a look here. So we've got some really nice stuff on this beach or on this island in general. Um, obviously, we know from past experience from watching Bart stream, uh, from those of you that are here, that these are just tomato trucks. We're, we're not going to worry about them too much, but uh, just to be historically accurate, I might go ahead and start bombing them. Um, but I think we're probably better off bombing the enemy artillery unit. So let's go ahead and do that. We also want to hit the enemy supplies back here. And I've never seen supplies represented in Panzer Corps in this way. So I'm guessing this would actually be a very important thing to destroy. Uh, but I'm just making an assumption. Let's go ahead. The Schnellboot has done his job. And let's bring in this plane and see if we can't finish off uh, this little Rolls-Royce armored car. Okay. Let's take a look. I'm going to pop up here, and I do want to start moving on this city. So I'm immediately going to move forward and hit the artillery. As you can see, we just destroyed it. Well, more or less destroyed it. Um, that's a serious, serious uh, hit right there. And if we could totally finish it off with this bomber, I'm going to be a happy camper. Okay, we haven't totally finished off the enemy artillery, but we're getting closer and closer to taking St. Anne. Uh, and once again, I don't know my channel islands very well, so if anybody can tell me what the St. Anne is the capital of, that would be awesome. Uh, is it the Isle of Guernsey? I think it's Guernsey. All right, we're going to move our SDKBZ up as well, guys. First thing I'm going to do, first order of business, is wiping out uh, this Allied airfield. And in fact, our SDKBZ came in and railed it within one hit, uh, which is absolutely awesome. We're also going to go ahead and grab this infantry unit, move him up to the rails, and drop some more guys off for transportation purposes. We only want to inspect your tiny, tiny islands. Okay, we could attack this... Um, this coastal battery and usually I don't hit coastal batteries but seeing as we have so many ships in the harbor I'm gonna open fire um, and we might actually get a pretty decent attack there I don't want to lose too many men though I'm gonna bring this unit up and as you can see I could move up here but I'd be in a truck and that's not gonna work for us uh, once you're in a truck you've got very little defense so I'm gonna just move this guy up very slowly you should bomb them first and then attack with infantry says shiznit <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, please no politics, guys, but thank you, uh, thank you for the interest, uh, this is, uh, let's focus on the game. Of course, if you want to talk about the politics of the game, feel free, and actually, um, this one's quite funny, because, uh, as mentioned in the last stream, 
Um, the reason that tomato trucks were targeted in this particular uh, invasion by the by the Germans is because they thought they were ammo trucks. So they just they blew the hell out of a lot of poor uh, farmers, um, and ultimately realized that they had been shooting at uh, at tomato trucks instead of ammunition vehicles. Okay, I think we're pretty much set up to go. Uh, and once again, we cannot move these tank units this turn, or I think this entire battle. So we're going to end the turn, and it looks like the enemy is getting low on ammo there. They've actually run out of ammo on one of their artillery guns, and that armored car refuses to surrender. So they, they, they definitely want to put a fight up on their island, but I don't think they can withstand the German horde. My cabbage is his comrade Luxembourg, indeed. Okay, here we go. As you can see, all right, we're getting closer and closer. It looks like they brought some reinforcements here. Interesting. We're going to keep bombing them. I mean, we have all day to bomb these guys and make them weaker. I don't want to just go in and start attacking because uh, we could actually lose quite a few men. Now, I will open fire on this artillery piece just because I think I could take it out. Uh, and all that's going to do is help us. But as for the enemy infantry, I'm definitely not attacking. Um, at least not this turn. Let's go ahead. And we found some more enemy supplies. We also dropped some more Gabus Jaegers uh, over here. Gabus Jaegers, by the way, are mountain troops, uh, for those of you that don't know. All right, let's take a look here. I'm going to open fire on this armored car with our Pioneer Division. And yes, we have destroyed it. We can start moving right into the city. But I don't want to get too close to their anti-aircraft guns. Uh, for those of you familiar with uh, Colonel Gaddafi's, uh, uh, well, the the revolution against Colonel Gaddafi in Libya, uh, anti-aircraft guns are pretty effective against infantry units. So let's go ahead and open fire here. But before I do that, I'm going to actually bring the bomber in. Actually, no, we can't bring the bomber in because they've got cover. This is a problem. We also want to really take an airfield soon or else our guys are going to run out of uh, fuel, essentially. So let's go ahead and carry out the attack. Actually, I'll bring the Schnellboot in. I don't think he's going to do any damage, but even suppressing some of the enemy would be good. Uh, Milhouse says, I like Lodger. Everything they said was kind of meh. <laughs> Avatar. We're discussing Avatar. All right, let's see. Um, so I'd actually do much more damage attacking the uh, anti-aircraft gun, and that means eventually we can bring the bombers in, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to go for the AT gun, and we'll start bringing in our own AT gun, which, uh, or excuse me, AA gun, which I really don't see a need for, to be perfectly honest with you. We're not worried about the RAF right now. Uh, we're worried about the men on the ground. We really do want to take these locations, though, so I'm going to open fire on the airfield and basically claim it for myself. And this allows our guys to refuel, etc. It's going to be very, very helpful. Uh, we could continue our bombing campaign. Maybe we'll start hitting this artillery up here. And as you can see, we have a tremendous amount of bombers in this game, which is really great. Glorious already. <laughs> Any chance of a Vermintide stream today? Uh, quite possibly. Um, I, again, guys, I always I always try to drop at least one shameless plug during the stream, so I'll try to do it now. Um, I do have quite a few strategy um, games on my channel. I play Panzer Corps. In fact, I, I have a Panzer Corps campaign up right now, um, as well as a few other games. And I also have a Twitch channel where I stream very similar games to this. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, I'm sure Ariman or Party Commissar could drop the links below. I'd really appreciate it. I would, but if I tab out of this... I'm going to have to go through all the trouble of actually um, recapturing the screen. Uh, me and Bart had some difficulty in actually capturing the Panzer Corps screen uh, because it doesn't show up as a game, so you actually have to ca capture your whole screen region, uh, which can be a bit of a problem. Okay, I like the way these Brooklyn Pioneers are working, and I do wish we had taken this battery out much sooner. I kind of feel like we're being a bit lazy with the taking of the battery, but that's all right. We've got time. Uh, now, I am going to open fire on the enemy transport boat right there. Eight down. There's no way they're going to survive. Our Schnellboots are going to totally finish them. And I almost wish that I could turn these Schnellboots in uh, for something better. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that. Too fast, <laughs> indeed. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and take our AA gun. Or actually, yeah, this is just a flat gun. Really kind of a waste. Um, the Germans were not, ex they didn't exactly know what they would find on the Channel Islands. Uh, whether it was going to be heavily fortified or just lightly defended. Uh, it turns out pretty lightly defended, um, but still still a pain. All right, so, so unfortunate that we can't move those tanks. They look so ready to move. 
uh, but we will open fire on these dastardly tomato trucks. Hey, I don't know if they're transporting tomatoes, guys. For all I know, that thing is carrying a bunch of ammunition uh, meant to destroy our units. So we're going to go ahead and take them out. Uh, and they'll also question them after the battle. Playing as German, let the battery at rest and do blitzkrieg, says Schisnitz. <laughs> Yes, that's one unfortunate thing, um, is that with uh, this particular um, operation, Operation Sea Line, you can only play as the Germans. Um, I really would love to see the ability to play as the Brits, although to be fair, playing as the Brits on the Channel Islands, uh, you would be screwed. You really would. Um, the chances of you winning are very low. Um, so we're moving in, guys, with actually our 14th Wehrmacht Division. Uh, we're coming in from the north, cutting off these rail lines here. And so at this point, the city is entirely cut off. I'm just going to move in, waste the enemy, and eventually our biggest fight is going to be against this British heavy weapons team. That's going to be the real pain. Uh, and in fact, if we can get some hits without taking any shots from that AA gun, I will do it. Uh, sadly, that's just not the case right now. Thank you, Miharius. I appreciate it. Witness me. Witness me. Oh, don't get me into Mad Max stuff. If, if we do, I'll, I'll, I'll never end. Okay, I think we've done all the bombing we need to. I'd still like to use some of our planes for some recon purposes. Again, I don't recommend doing this, but uh, I do get a bit crazy in this game. So we're going to take a look, and it doesn't look like there's anything here. We might just be able to move on through this area uh, without any fight whatsoever. So only time will tell. Uh, I do want to reinforce um, this artillery. So I'm actually just going to get regular replacements and uh, reinforce that unit. And basically any unit of ours that's that's fairly damaged. I, I want to go ahead and fix them up, uh, even these Fallschirmjägers. So let's go ahead. We'll get some replacements for the Fallschirmjägers. Now, with our um, SDK of EZ, we're also going to move in from the north, and this guy is going to open fire immediately on the enemy artillery unit. Boom. Five down. That was an excellent hit. Mediocre, indeed. Um, but we'll continue here, and yes, I think we can finish these guys off. I want to take out this AA gun. Uh, but obviously, we're going to have to wait one turn before that happens. But we, we have a lot of options here, guys. Um, and this might be the first time that I actually do move one of our artillery pieces quite quickly up the uh, rail line there. Uh, because when an artillery piece is in a truck, even an artillery piece alone, uh, they become a very ripe target for enemy fire. Okay, that's it. Let's end our turn. Thank you, Comrade Luxembourg. That sounds pretty awesome. V8. All right, access turn 5 of 12. Um, and here we go, guys. I do believe we're about to take St. Anne. Uh, and I do, is this the island of St. Anne? What is the, is this Guernsey? Is this Jersey? Somebody let me know in the comments down below. Um, now, it's not going to be an easy fight. It looks like the men here are putting up a pretty good fight, despite the odds. And uh, we may have to actually use up a turn to take them out. Another thing that's not so good is our bomber is running out of fuel. And we haven't taken that airfield yet. Uh, so this is definitely something we want to focus on. I'll go ahead and open fire on the ammo cache here. And let's move down to our second island. Hey, hello, Fex292. Uh, How you doing, man? All right. Um, let's see. Hmm. So we will commence the attack. And like I said, we've got time. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that AA gun. Now we can bring in bombers uh, to start bombing the enemy infantry units here. And uh, we can also hit them with some artillery strikes, which should be able to suppress them sufficiently for us to do some damage. Right now, their artillery doesn't seem to be doing much. <laughs> In fact, he, he should have moved forward to assist his infantry, but I guess the, uh, the artillery gunners on this in this particular brigade are, are not the bravest. Um, well, that's fair enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and attack with our Pioneer Division. Uh, these guys did very well when they first entered the city. And if we can take St. Peter Port, that's going to be a major victory um, on our end. I will open fire with our heavy weapons team. And listen to that uh, MG-34 firing away. Just many, many Brits down, but they still managed to hold. They haven't given up yet, guys. Um, let's see. Okay, I think I'm going to go after that artillery piece. I don't abide cowardice. And we'll also open up with our Schnellboot. Even though I don't think he's going to get any hits, um, I still want to open up. 
Okay, let's move to the next island. Now, this is, of course, the major island. And it does look like the enemy reinforced their 25-pounder. Um, In fact, they, they made it... They basically prepared it for our SDKFZ. So I'm going to attack with infantry. Nothing they can do to stop that. Although I'm surprised we only got four hits. We should have definitely gotten more there. Uh, no matter, we can still we can still make this happen. Let's get rid of these coastal guns. Uh, because right now they're just a pain. And uh, in fact, I'm going to take this infantry unit, move into the city, and hit this AA gun. I want to totally get rid of the AA gun. That opens us up to be able to bomb the area with our with our Stukas, with our Messerschmitts. Uh, and it really improves our chances of winning. So there we go. No more AA guns in this city. Um, very interesting. Okay, let's take a look here. Actually, I want to get behind them. Now, I'm not crazy about this attack because we're going to lose men no matter what. But you know what? To get rid of that uh, quarter pounder, I'll do it. And then I'll bring in the Stuka and see if we can finish them off entirely. So let's bring our Stuka in. Here we go, Stuka. Boom! That's got to finish them off. And sure enough, we don't have to worry about that gun anymore. So we're very close to taking these objectives. We still, of course, have to go over here and take this part of the island, which I sort of forgot about. Um, so I'm going to start moving one of our units that way. Uh, in preparation for the assault. Okay. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Time to bomb tomato trucks. That's the only thing we can do. Uh, who knows, you know? We don't know who's hiding in those trucks. Um, okay. We'll go ahead and end now, guys. And I suppose we should move our artillery a bit closer uh, to the center of town. Uh, to avoid any unnecessary fire from that destroyer, but I don't think he's going to do very much. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our infantry, and we're going to chase these tomato trucks. No way are we going to let them get away. We're setting up a roadblock. All right, let's take a look here. And we'll end our turn, guys. Wow, so now the enemy has actually got some fighting spirit. It looks like they opened up with their artillery. I have no uh, idea how they managed to get a hit from that far away. Uh, but they did just open up with our heavy weapons team on our SDKVZ and damaged it severely. We're probably going to have to pull him back and uh, get him some reinforcements. Although it does look on this bottom bottom leftmost island that uh, they're in a lot of trouble. And we're about to actually break through there. So I'm going to try to make it uh, less difficult on the enemy and, and just go ahead and get the Schnell boat to finish them off. Uh, that way my men don't even have to put up a fight. And there we go. We'll put the heavy weapons team here. Open up on that dangerous looking truck. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we have taken control, guys, now of uh, St. Peter Port, which is great. And, of course, I still want to continue moving forward because we still have to take over St. Samson. Uh, so we, we can't stop yet. And, in fact, I just turned our Pioneer Division uh, into a moving uh, can opener that could be shot down at any moment. Okay, we're going to open fire here on the enemy artillery. And we will keep moving forward with our men. In fact, I'll attack the enemy supply dump here. And we should be able to get rid of it. Now, unfortunately, this guy really needs to get to an airfield. So, thankfully, we can get him there in time. I'm pretty sure the bomber will need to get to an airfield fairly soon as well. Uh, but apparently not yet. Um, so, we'll continue to bomb their artillery division. Not bad, man. Not bad. Okay. What about this guy? I actually wanted to get rid of the supply dump. There we go. Enemy supply dump destroyed. Okay, let's take a look here. We're going to start moving, guys, towards our next objective. Uh, now, as you guys can see, I'm not moving in trucks because I don't know what to expect. I want to approach with caution. Unfortunately, um, this STKVZ is badly damaged. Um, and the best thing I can do is give it replacements, although I believe this particular unit is not a reserve unit, so I'm going to give it elite replacements. Uh, that may not be the greatest idea. Let's go ahead, open fire here. Boom! Two hits on the enemy infantry. That's pretty good. And I'm really hoping that this heavy weapons team is going to be able to finish off uh, the enemy in this sector by themselves. Uh, I may be hoping for too much. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these guys. 
definitely want to move these guys back to an airbase uh, because unfortunately they're running out of fuel but i will bring in this fighter plane and see if we can't waste that coastal battery and unfortunately we're just not getting very lucky on the coastal battery attacks uh, we have a few more rounds left in our schnell book so i might as well open fire here not a single hit move forward again And again, not a single hit. I don't even think we managed to suppress there. Uh, we could move this heavy weapons team, but again, I'm not going to put him into the truck. So he will be attacking next turn, guys. And then the only area we have to take here is going to be Gory over here. Uh, Theoli says, are there plans to import the Order of Pacific Engine to Panzer Corps? Uh, this is a question to ask the developers. Now, unfortunately, all I really am is a streamer for Slither, and I'm, I'm not a developer. Um, I would not have those answers for you, man. I, I wish I could tell you that the answer is yes. Um, I, I can tell you this. I can tell you that there are some modifications for Panzer Corps um, that you can find online that, that allow you to play the Pacific Campaign, if that's your thing. Let's go ahead and end our turn here. And those artillery, man, that artillery is not giving up. That is crazy. They refuse to stop putting up a fight, despite the odds. Okay, 7 of 12, guys. Um, and, of course, we have to take all objectives and airfields. You know, this is not just taking uh, the objectives stated, for instance, these, uh, these bright objectives. They actually want us to take everything here. So I'm going to go ahead... We just destroyed the units in the city here of St. Anne. Pretty sure we can get in this turn. Um, although I'd love to take out that airfield first. Uh, I think it's probably better off we just go ahead, take the city, and bomb the airfield. This seems a lot simpler and a lot more effective in a way. Uh, let's also try to take out the enemy supply dumps. You would think we could just capture these supply dumps, but oh no. Couldn't be that simple. Okay, let's see. We definitely want to keep moving forward with our infantry. Now some of our infantry, as you can see, are running low on ammunition. Um, this is not good, and it's definitely something we want to fix uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, but I'm, I'm under the impression that the enemy doesn't have many men here, and as you can see, it looks like they just have one unit there. Uh, so we should be able to take this area without much of a fight. Tank of Doom says, The Germans were content enough to just bomb it, and only in 1942 did the Italians make a plan to capture the island. Okay, let's see. We're approaching this area, but uh, I do want some of these guys to have uh, supplies. So I'm going to give these guys some ammo. Heavy weapons team, we can't provide ammo this turn, but we will eventually. And we'll bring these bombers back to the airbase. At this point, I guess we could just uh, continue moving forward, uh, trying to capture enemy locations. And look at that, a coastal battery in the worst place possible. I have no idea why they put it over here. Uh, but hey, it's, it's their... Uh, their battle not mine now we still have an enemy transport ship over here i don't know what it's doing but i definitely want to hit it pretty hard and uh especially if they're going to drop some troops out of that transport ship we don't want to give them that opportunity so i'm going to bomb it as much as i can i'm going to hit it with chanel boots if i have to we're going to do everything in our power to stop it from being a threat here we go nice shot by the artillery unit um, and I'm going to bring this fighter in. I don't think he's going to be able to strafe much, but maybe he'll at least scare the enemy. More ion cannons. <laughs> I'll be your friend, Fex, always. All right, let's move forward here. Um, get into the city. Okay, so there we go. We know what's here. Just basically uh, enemy infantry. Um... We're going to move forward. We don't even need to take these other cities up here, um, as you guys can see. We only need to take the airfields and the main objectives. Uh, we do need to take this city, though, but the enemy is running out of ammo, and that makes me very happy. So one, one thing I'm going to do is try to suppress the 11th British Heavy Weapons Team, and as you can see, they're totally out of ammo now. That red icon basically shows us that they have no ammunition left. Uh, so their fight is almost over. We're going to bring in our heavy weapons team to wrap up the job. And we should be able to take this city. Quite a large little city of St. Hilaire. Um, let's move forward. And that's got to be Jersey. St. Hilaire, right? Maybe not. Okay, guys. We're going to be moving in there next turn. Sadly, we can't capture it this turn. But uh, next turn, we will be in that city. Um, now, this might be the only unit that I actually consider moving in an armored car. Um... I'm not going to usually do that in the future. It's not a smart option at all.
I'm just going to do some recon over here. Nothing really going on. I dare say I don't think the English were prepared for this attack at all. Go ahead and get some uh, scouting planes, and these are really not scout planes. These are these are fighters, but in this battle, I've essentially used our fighter planes as scouting planes, and it's worked out pretty well. We're gonna end our turn, guys. Once again, that artillery refuses to stop firing, and they're definitely reinforcing it. Uh, so it looks like that might be the only viable option they have is that artillery. I also don't like the fact that those tomato trucks are getting really close. Uh, even though they're tomato trucks, I'm pretty sure they can take an objective. So I'm gonna do everything I can to kill those tomato trucks immediately be absolutely awesome to lose this campaign because of a damn tomato truck let's go ahead open fire here beautiful we just destroyed the british airfield in this sector we're gonna go ahead and take it and now our plane can not only be refueled but also refitted with ammunition and saint anne is entirely under german control now bomb the enemy transport i don't mind if i do now, we are running out of ammunition, so it's probably a good idea to get this bomber out of here and to our new airbase uh, to refuel, get some ammo, etc. Uh, but not before bombing this unit here. And I'm going to do the same with this guy. We're going to send him back. Uh, so this, this guy's going to put up a pretty decent fight. Um, not before we get a few shots of our own, though. Um, like I said, I don't like to put these guys in armored cars, so I'm going to keep him one tile away from the enemy so that he can't attack. And I'm also going to bring in my uh, BF-109s, my Messerschmitts, to go ahead and open fire on the enemy on the ground. Now, this unit is almost out of ammo, and so are these guys. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm not only going to give ammo to my um, heavy weapons team, I'm going to give them some reinforcements, too. Uh, I don't like the fact that the enemy's approaching here, and I'm actually going to put my AA gun right there where the tomato truck is just to make sure the enemy doesn't get any bright ideas okay and we will move forward and commence the attack wow incredible guys did you see that we actually got them down to one now if we can bomb them next turn we have a very very good chance um of actually taking this city without so much as a fight we could just basically walk in uh, let's take a look at what's going on here okay the attack commences Nice hit there by our 16th Wehrmacht Infantry. And the Broken Pioneer are also going to be an issue. I think we can go ahead and get them some elite replacements. Now, I wouldn't generally do this, but um, since we're only playing this one battle, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and cut off this city entirely. So Gori is going to be ours, and we might as well go for the rest of these towns around the place um, at this point. There we go. Under German control. Wunderbar, wunderbar rather. Uh, and we will continue attacking these sectors. I definitely want to hit those coastal guns. Well, we have a linker, guys. Sorry, I'm paying attention to the game. Yeah, I'll get rid of him. kind of dangerous for me to pop out like this because sometimes we get issues. There we go. Okay, I hope you guys can still see the screen and everything. Um, Alright, so let's take a look. We've got artillery here. There's a lot we can do, just not a lot of areas we have to take. We've got the airfields on this island. We've got the towns on this island. This island is essentially under our control. Um, we do have to still move in here, though, to take over. And I might as well go ahead and also get a coup de grace against the fort over there. Fort Region, apparently, is the name. A uh, very interesting name. And uh, we will continue. I guess all we can do now is start bombing the supply depots, uh, start scouting the rest of the island, and uh, hopefully initiate victory here. All right, guys. I'm going to grab this fighter plane. And there's definitely some infantry here, but again, we don't need to take this area. Uh, all we need to take are the airfields and the cities. And I want to make sure that we're not missing any airfields. Don't believe we are. We've got the cities. We've still got one uh, infantry unit here that we need to wipe out, obviously. This is the last city we need to capture, and I believe that's it. So let's end the turn. No, that was me. That was me. I banned him. He was a linker. 
anybody that uh, that just comes in with a very strange name and just posts gibberish, it's a linker. Um, they're not really here to provide anything. Okay, let's take out these ammo, these uh, supply depots. I don't see why the Germans wouldn't just requisition this for their own army, but uh, apparently High Command says destroy it, and if the Fuhrer says destroy something, we have to destroy it. We have no choice. Uh, we'll move over here and start bombing. Beautiful hit there for two. Ambulance. It could be an ambulance. In fact, these tomato trucks might be uh, makeshift ambulances for all we know. It is a threat to the Reich. Okay, let's take this JU-88. Um, and uh, I think we can go ahead and start hitting this transport ship. We could probably finish it off with a JU-88. And there we go. I mean, that is just such a massive, nasty bomber. Uh, I would not want to be caught in one of its strikes, in one of its airstrikes. Uh, since we have, you know, the ability to keep attacking, we're going to move forward. We're going to hit this infantry division. And like I said, I want to walk into St. Sampson without so much as a shot being fired. And that's what I'm doing right now. Um, our men have just captured a city with no bullets. <laughs> so the people, uh, hopefully, are somewhat accepting. Let's go ahead and move forward. We'll take this port from the enemy. Or we can go ahead and open fire on, uh, on the enemy tomato truck. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to open fire. And our heavy weapons team just destroyed a destroyer. That's what you get for parking in a port under German control. You're, no way you're going to get away from that. Okay, guys. Uh, we could still do some damage here, apparently. So we're going to move our heavy weapons team down there and capture the port. Uh, and I do believe we've taken everything. Well, there's, still a ch there's still an opportunity for the enemy to take this back from us. We also just captured the tiny town of St. Owen. And we'll move our artillery up. Uh, or actually, we'll just open fire on this ammo dump. Blue Hawk 1976 says, very much reminds me of Panzer General. That's a great comment, Blue Hawk. And actually, Panzer Corps is based off Panzer General. Um, I would say that Panzer Corps, um, being more modern, has a lot more content. And if you like Panzer General, man, this is the game for you. You want to pick this up 100%. Um, we're playing the Operation Sea Lion uh, DLC, which uh, essentially just adds Operation Sea Lion to the game. But there are so many campaigns. Um, anybody here who's a Panzer Corps player, feel free uh, to let uh, Blue Hawk know just the amount of different games you can play, campaigns, etc. in Panzer Corps. Uh, it's amazing. It really is amazing. Okay, we're doing pretty well here. We've taken all of our objective points. Um, and I think at this point, all we need to do is hold out. I do want to get some ammo to this unit of 26 Pioneers, but they can hold on. We're not under any danger, really. Um, we've got an enemy artillery piece here that refuses to be destroyed. But besides that, we're doing all right. Okay, there we go. Three nice hits. And I'm going to bring this guy right back to the airfield. We'll also continue um, moving out our other bombers to continue the attack on the enemy artillery position. Okay, interesting. I'll get some reinforcements. No, we can't get reinforcements for our artillery. Fair enough. Now, unfortunately, we're going to lose a bomber next turn. Um, I don't know why, because we did take this airfield. Uh, let's end turn here. There we go. That's all the enemy has is that one artillery piece and some tomato trucks. And actually, the tomato trucks are beginning to worry me because I don't know what happens if they land um, on our victory locations. They might be able to retake them. Uh, people suddenly believe they're they're under uh, under attack by tomato farmers. They, they might put up a very different fight. So as you can see, we actually drew the enemy out. We got a decisive victory. There we go, guys. Just decisive. Did absolutely beautiful. Um, and uh, very, very, very cool there. I'm actually going to save the replay just because... Uh, what can I say? I adore saving this stuff. Um, so I'll save my Channel Islands replay. Um, and we'll go ahead and proceed, guys, so you can see what the next battle is going to be. Um, I'm not even sure. Outstanding here, General. The whole operation went as smooth as silk. Positions were quickly consolidated by your forces. Communications and anti-aircraft defenses were established. Garrison troops will relieve your men upon confirmation of the new operational orders. The next assignment for your forces involves the protection of ports and airfields. A rather easy task compared to the ones in store for the Luftwaffe. Interesting. Okay, guys. So we're protecting ports and airfields. 
Um, and here we go. Good morning, Herr General. Weiss a long face. And if you guys hate this German accent, just let me know. <laughs> of course, the French food is not really your favorite, is it? Or is it the fact that the Luftwaffe is leading the upcoming operation? I should have known. But despite protests of the Wehrmacht top brass, High Command's decision is final. The Luftwaffe must prevent the enemy from attacking the invasion fleet. This highly important mission is a prerequisite for the amphibious landings. We must achieve air superiority, at least in Southeast England. We must also create and control a transit corridor in the English Channel for our landing craft and the experts. Exports. Came to the major speech in Helsing. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much, man. When you take a closer look at the map, note how we marked two areas with A's and B's. You must clear the zone inside the area marked with A's of all Royal Navy ships. You must attain air superiority and put all airfields out of action in the area marked with B's. Don't expect the enemy to go down easily, Herr General. Surely they misplaced their trust in the French resistance to disrupt our aerial operations. Guard the airfields just in case. Good luck. Wow, so we may actually be facing some French partisan units uh, in this turn. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and this is a very different battle. Now, of course, we can start placing some units. We've got Panzer 3Gs. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start placing some of them uh, disabled when a level bomber is directly above an airfield. The British flag will disappear over the targeted area, thus rendering the airfield useless to the RAF. Very cool. So we essentially don't really necessarily have to use our units um, as much as our air force to destroy these uh, positions. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to set up some units around the area just in case the French resistance gets silly. Uh, but I think we should be all right. Let's even grab one of our Panzer 3Fs. Nobody wants to mess with one of those. Um, and I think for now, our reserves are doing just fine. Uh, wouldn't mind having a few more bombers on scene, but there we go. Okay, I, I knew that there was a problem because we just didn't have nearly enough bombers. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop all of our bombers out here. And you know exactly what we're going to do, guys. We are beginning the invasion of England. We want to get these guys out here. Some of them don't have the greatest uh, health, but it doesn't really matter right now. We just need to get everybody out. Um, I want to get some fighters out as well. Remember, we only have a certain number of units we can deploy, and our main focus is going to be uh, aircraft. That's really our main main concern. Uh, so we're going to get some more aircraft. Maybe I'll get an AA gun just in case. Um, and let's get that Ju-87. Absolutely awesome Stuka. Bring him onto the battlefield too, as well as this fighter. And we should be able to deploy two more units. Let's get this beautiful S, uh, SE Panzer 3F out here as well. Okay, I do believe that deployment has been completed, essentially. Um, and now we can, can begin operations. So we're going to go ahead and end our turn. Turn the turn over to the Allies and see what happens. We also have a lot of boats here, a lot of ships. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is go straight for this A area. We've got some submarines, a 40th U-boat. And we're making our way over here. And I love that sonar sound. If you guys listen closely, I love that. That little sonar bleep. Uh, it's really, really creepy. Let's keep moving forward. Got a nice little amount of ships that uh, that could do a lot of damage, especially these heavy cruisers. Uh, if we have any enemy ships, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. So we're going to keep moving forward. We'll even bring our Schnell boats into the fight. Okay. So as you can see, we already see the enemy destroyers. We want to get rid of them um, as soon as possible. So first we'll start with some bomber attacks. Six down. Look at that. Wow. The HE 111th just got great hits on the enemy destroyer units. I was under the impression we were going to have to get into some naval combat. Maybe not. Look at that. Ten. I've never seen that happen before. We just got a JU-88 um, to basically destroy ten uh, enemy destroyers in one run, and that's awesome. We're going to continue the attack, guys, over the English Channel. Um, remember, our job is to clear these positions, etc. We'll certainly be deadly to our pansies. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Maybe some satchel charges. That always improves the odds. Okay, let's grab this uh, Stuka. And once again, we're just trying to get behind enemy lines. I want to get over to this A sector. Remember, A and B are the areas we need to focus on. It's another A there. And we've got a lot of bombers. I mean, just the amount of bombers we have. This truly is Operation Sea Line. If I could ever recommend you guys to get this game more than now, uh, 
I, I would just say get this game immediately. I mean, just look at Operation Sea Lion. As you guys, if you guys take a look at the map on the lower right hand corner, you can actually see France over here and England or the south, south, southeastern half of England, I should say, over here. And there's just so much to do on just this one mission. Um, so we're going to start moving our bombers out, um, obviously, to try to hit the Britishes at home. Uh, but we don't want to keep them out too long, because if you keep a bomber out too long, the fuel runs out, bad things happen, and uh, unfortunately, you, you end up losing a plane. Um, we can't afford to do that. Got some more submarines. Bring out some more bombers. And in a way, we're also scouting the enemy. Just checking out the truck that he used. I wanted to see if the truck looked different, and it does. It's kind of cool. All right. Um, got another Schnellboot here. Open fire! Somebody do some research on a Schnellboot. I'm assuming this is just a regular patrol boat. Uh, definitely, Comrade Luxembourg. Definitely. If you guys want to throw up that stream link again, uh, feel free. And uh, I'm going to go searching for partisans. I mean, what else should I do, right? So I don't want to leave my post, but I'm definitely going to be searching around for these partisans. And there we go. That's not a partisan unit. No, it is. La Resistance. We found our first partisan unit, guys. That's really cool. I love that. I wish you could play as La Resistance. Um, although there are so many, like I said, guys, before, there are so many mods for this game online. Um, I actually have a video up on my channel, although the audio is quite poor because I did about a year and a half ago where I played the Spanish Civil War mod. Um, and I play as the Republicans against the uh, Franco's fascists. So you really can get a lot of stuff just having the game. I highly recommend the purchase. All right, we're going to go ahead and bomb the French resistance beautiful hits four of them down um and as you can see we've just unlocked all of these french resistance units guys so we know they're up for a fight i'm gonna bring in our um panzer 3f uh and open fire immediately uh trying to weaken these guys we've caught them on a river which is possibly the worst place to be uh in a defensive situation so we're gonna get a chance to really hit these guys hard um and we'll bring in our um airplanes to assist but they were definitely going to try to retake this airfield, and we just can't have that. Foya! Oh, thank you, um, Dioli. He says, Schnellboot means fast, small ship in German. That's very cool. I know that um, Germans are very literal with their uh, pronunciations, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, okay, here we go. Open fire. And once again, we're just chasing this French resistance away. We don't want them taking these airfields. There's a lot of them, too. I didn't expect there to be this much, but I'm amazed. Uh, we're also going to provide some replacements for this unit. Uh, in fact, we'll provide replacements for all of these infantry units. Um, as you can see, I'm just using regular replacements. I'm not giving them any elite replacements, nothing like that. Uh, but let's open fire on this destroyer. And this is amazing. We can actually fire across the channel. Does anyone know? I know that the V2 could go across the channel, but were there any German artillery guns that could fire across the entire channel? I'm not sure go okay let's get the schnellboots they've already moved um and we'll start looking in this area as well for some more enemy resistance fighters we don't know where they're come from now we know that uh they're definitely interested in our airfields so we want to defend those very well um and they've also we've also got some enemy sonar sites here uh radars i should say not sonar uh we want to wipe those out for sure uh you know sonar is going to help them know where we're coming from and if we can take out their sonar capabilities half the battle is won uh, but this is not going to be an easy battle no matter what okay make sure i moved everybody i wanted to i don't like this area being very poorly defended but let's go ahead and try to find some resistance fighters recon with a fighter once again recon with a fighter plane uh, i'm actually going to send one of these bombers back just in case 